Have you ever wanted to share something from one of your favorite Google applications, docs, sheets, slides, drawings, but give them a certain amount of time to have access to it, meaning they have an expiration date on that sharing? Well, you can do it, and it's even easier now than ever. Let me show you how. So this week's quick tip is actually about sharing within Google. So the various Google applications that we use so often and use that blue share button and get this pop up like this, you may have noticed a new little notification telling you about adding an expiration date. So it's very, very simple to add an expiration date. All you need to do is type the email address of the person that you wish to share with and then over here on the right hand side where you can select their level of access, viewer, commenter, or editor, you can also add that expiration as you are sharing. So previously you had to share first and then add an expiration, but now you can do it all at once. And if you give this little notification box a check, they will get that information in their notification as well. It defaults to one month. I, I kind of don't like that it defaults to that, but you can just click this pencil and pick another date. And it also defaults to 11.59 p.m. As of now, I have no control over the actual time, but just the date. So, um, and I'm guessing that is actually in my own time zone, but I'm not completely sure yet. I like this. I think sharing with an expiration date can be super handy, especially when teachers are sharing with other teachers or you're collaborating together and you need something done by a certain amount of time and you need to take it over. Now, yes, you can share with students. Keep in mind, Google Classroom is going to override some things. So this is not necessarily, I think, intended for student use. However, if you are sharing this maybe with a student doing some makeup work and you're trying to get it done by a certain date, I know that's a feature that we've wanted in Google Classroom. So if you don't push out that assignment there and attach it in Google Classroom, you could just share it individually. I kind of think that's a little bit of a workaround. If you want to try it, let me know how it works. I like this tip. I think there's a lot of great uses for this. If you try it, be sure and let us know how it goes. If you like this tip, give me a thumbs up, ring the bell, and subscribe. And if you haven't, hop on over to shakeuplearning.com and check out all of our free resources there. Bye, y'all.